Fellow Toastmasters, when you elected me as your club president in July, I wondered what kind of leader I would be. Would I be a visionary like Steve Jobs or something more like Hitler? <laughs> well, luckily in preparing for this speech, Toastmasters gave me an assessment that I could take to figure out what my own leadership style is. And here is what it told me. Of all these different leadership categories, excuse me, I scored the highest in this area called democratic leadership. That's the one that I have a natural tendency towards. What is this? So democratic leadership is all about bringing everyone to the table. It's this belief that everyone on your team has a voice that needs to be heard before you make any important decisions. It's all about collaboration and teamwork. Toastmasters notes that this is not the best leadership style if you're in an emergency situation. You need to make decisions very quickly. In that type of scenario, it's better for one person to take charge and start issuing orders. But this is a great style of leadership when you have a team of experts, of highly motivated people, and you want to harness their talents. And for our club, as our president, I'm relying on six officers. All of them actually are here in the room today, which is perfect. I'm relying on their talent. So I think the democratic leadership is actually the perfect style for me to take on as the club president. And in the spirit of democratic leadership, I'd actually like to share with you today a little bit about how each of these officers, just in our first four months in office, has been going above and beyond their core responsibilities, taking initiative, and leading as individuals to make this club run smoothly and to make it a, a productive environment for all of us, the members. So starting with Marie Noel, our VP of Education. Marie Noel noticed that we had a trouble spot, and that trouble spot was Pathways. A lot of people were struggling with how to use a new website, how does this program work, work. so she took it upon herself to do a survey with our members, figure out exactly what people were struggling with, and then she wrote her own how-to guide, very concise, very clear, on how to fix these problems, how to use Pathways. So I want to commend Martin Well for identifying that area and taking the initiative to solve it on her own. Next up, Monica, our VP of Membership. I want to commend Monica for creating a Facebook page for our club, something we never had before, which actually ended up being a lot harder than she thought it was going to be originally. But we now have a very nice Facebook page, a social media presence. And she took it one step further. She actually created advertising based on this Facebook page. So we spent a little bit of our budget paying Facebook to target people in the Roseville area so that our page actually pops up in their newsfeed as an ad advertisement. Kind of a high-tech way to promote our club, something that we had never done before. So thank you, Monica, for, for figuring out how to do that. Yeah. Next, our VP of Public Relations, Yolanda. She has a ton of ideas that she's already been checking off left and right about how to promote our club to the outside world. For example, just in the last few months, you just gave me this. Let's see. Well, it's stuck to the podium. There we go. She has created business cards, new business cards that we can hand out with contact information about our club. She created that visitor's welcome uh, sign that we now hang up on our banner outside of the room every week. And a few weeks ago, we had a, this HP campus-wide event. Yolanda single-handedly organized and manned a booth to promote our club to everyone here at HPE. But Yolanda is on fire. I look forward to all of the additional ideas that she might come up with throughout the rest of the year. Next, Oksana, our treasurer. One thing I want to recognize Oksana for is that she volunteered to be our videographer. As you can see, we record every speech. She takes the effort to make sure that camera is charged and posts uh, videos to our YouTube page. I'll point out, this has absolutely nothing to do with being a treasurer. But she recognized that this was a role that we needed filled, and as an officer, she stepped up to take that on. In addition, back in August, she chaired our club contest along with Jason. So again, something that had nothing to be, do with being a treasurer, but she saw a need and she stepped up to take on that role. Next, Bern, our secretary. Bern, I want to put you on the spot here. Do you remember what year you joined Toastmasters? No. I'll be honest. It was a while ago, right? I actually checked our rec according to Toastmasters International, it was June of 2001, 17 years ago. So Byrne is our longest active Toastmaster that we have. He started with a different club originally, but joined Roseville Rappers about three years ago. And if I'm not mistaken, this is your first time as an officer in this club, Roseville Rappers, right? So this guy's got the experience. He, he's seen I don't know how many meetings, competed in I don't know how many contests. 
he has so much great input and feedback when the officers meet on how to keep the club running smoothly. So I really want to recognize the unique skills that you bring in that area. Finally, Ken, our Sergeant at Arms, you have dived headfirst into this role. He took a complete inventory of all of our Toastmasters equipment and created a tracker so that we would automatically know when to place orders to replenish supplies when we start running low. In addition, Ken's got a lot of great ideas on how to keep these meetings interesting every week. Our current uh, policy about the word of the day for table topics, that was Ken's idea on how to, how to change that up a little bit. Uh, so I uh, appreciate all the, feed, the input that you bring as well. All in all, we've got a, a really diverse group here, a lot of great talents, a lot of motivation, a lot of uh, great wisdom with this group. I, I think democratic leadership is the right method to use to lead this club. And it's almost like, with this democratic method, it's almost like all six of these officers are acting as one person with one common goal in mind. And as I was look, putting this slide together last night, I was thinking, what, what if all six officers were literally one person? What would that look like? Have you ever seen these celebrity oh baby generators where they take pictures of two people and merge them together? What? I, I tried that out. Oh. I wasn't able to combine all six at once, so I had to do it in stages, and, and this is what we came up with. Uh, this, of course, is uh, Monica Noel on the left here. This is York Santa, and then my personal favorite, uh, Ken Burns. Uh, and then at, from these three, I was able to combine them into one, and we end up with this kind of amorphous blob of a person. What's that? Well, this is just the six of you. I, I oh, excuse okay. myself from this exercise. Nice. Oh, kind of looks like my, my grandma a little bit if you squint or That's funny. maybe my grandpa, depending on how which way you turn your head. The point I want to make here is that when you take all six of these officers and combine their faces together, the result isn't very pretty. But when you take these six officers and combine their talents and efforts together, the result is a thing of beauty. Thank you.